Hey, it's uh, me. It's uh, C.J. Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana in my apartment. I've got my uh, uh, my LED lights up. Uh, it's my, I love those colored lights and everything. So some of the city outside. Uh, so this movie, I've got this uh, queued up right to where I want us to talk about. This is a movie... Um, uh, <laughs> I forgot it's Jeepers Creepers Reborn. And what they've done is they have retconned the three movies that came before it. This is the fourth one in the franchise. They have retconned it. Uh, and those three movies were really based on a legend, you know. And so they, they're not the real story that happened. And this is uh, these guys, they come to a convention, a horror convention that's set somewhere in, they call Jackson, Louisiana. So they have reset it uh from from the area that it was before in a non-disclosed state but i always thought it was like midwestern and now it's somewhere in louisiana where it's happening so uh and so they go there and it's a horror convention of all things and then they throw a horror convention uh backwoods uh cultish people that use the convention to lure this group of people to this old house where they're out looking for, you know, the creepers out looking for them or whatever. I don't know. I, I have no idea why they have an interest uh, in placating the creeper. But now we've got the horror, the horror convention, horror at the horror convention trope. We've got the uh, um, the backwoods culty horror trope, and then we've got the sympathetic redneck who's just a guy i don't know who who's in this group of people and he's like i'm not even supposed to be here i was just hired to give you all some scares or whatever and uh so that that guy you know the un, un, the unwitting fool then there's uh i don't know so it's it's and the trope of a mist uh mixed uh bag of characters thrown in but this one takes the cake uh horror movies say from uh Ned Campbell on up, really Nightmare on Elm Street did it first. It re- well, and Jamie Lee Curtis was a strong character. Uh, was was praised uh, uh, for the by Siskel and Ebert in 1978. Both of those guys <laughs> agreed that they liked Halloween, the original, uh, because it was a suspenseful uh, movie and for a horror movie. But it what? But but it it gave. Uh, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis a, a chance to be a, a strong character and uh, so what 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 has been done uh, in addressing some of the silliness in horror movies uh, especially from scream forward that you know making making you know you know empowering women even if they were in a horror movie this character totally is the antithesis to all that. She almost re- uh, undoes all that work. Uh, uh, she, she's not a dumb blonde who's going to fall and break her ankle running. No. Uh, uh, no. She's just... I, I mean, literally, watch this. Hold on. Just, just watch. We need to try this. With what? Did you get that? She literally just sits down and starts backing up. I mean, that is the, I'm sorry, that is the worst blocking in a horror movie that I've ever seen. And I have seen almost all of them. (laughs) Uh, I would have said, uh, um, what what would my rating be? I have a rating systems that I rate based on what I would pay to see the movie. Uh, and, uh, you know, would I pay to see, would I, would I pay to see an IMAX 3D, traditional 3D, uh, you know, regular showing, uh, 
you know, uh, would I pay to see it on a streaming service? Would I pay to see it? Uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's like how much, so that's my rating. How much would I pay to see it? And I'm going to give this an S for standard. It's an okay movie. Probably would be okay on its own, but I, but it, but it, but I'm comparing it to the franchise that it that it's a part of. Especially the first one was a great one. The Jeepers Creepers was a great, uh, straightforward slasher horror flick uh, with the, with the monster as the bad guy, and it was fresh and it was exactly the, my favorite genre. You know, the only thing that would have made it better would be for the creeper to be human instead of a uh you know because i because i love that you know i love the the that you know the slasher movies of the of the early 80s but that's okay you know we needed to bring some horror some occultish some some newness into it and everything and that's fine jeepers creepers did that well this um on its own merit would have been okay but it's got this it's got it's 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 trying to placate to its audience too much uh I don't like the retconning of the story. I don't like the the new setting in Jackson, Louisiana, and uh, so to take advantage of the uh, the 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 true mysticism that takes place in deep South Louisiana, not so much in the in the in the Northwest, uh, but there are some of us who who know a little about that. But anyway, uh, yeah, no. I just, I don't know. I would give this an S for standard viewing. Uh, meaning I, I would have paid, a, a, you know, a basic movie theater price to see it. Uh, as it is, I, I'm watching a torrent of it. It did not show anywhere around uh, here that I could go see it. So, uh I would not pay. Uh, I would see the standard. So I'm giving it an S for the standard. I would not pay uh, high con con uh, con uh, concession prices. I wouldn't buy the $8 soda and the $5 candy bar uh, just for an hour and 45 minutes of a blonde girl falling down. It does take a while to get into the action. Uh it's not the roadway thriller that Jeepers Creepers was that was that that borrowed from tropes like uh, Duel, Steven Spielberg's Duel or uh, Road Games, which was uh, the original. It's been remade, actually. Barbara Crampton was in that one. It's, it's been kind of remade, quasi sort of remade uh, and has a lot to do with uh, uh but the but the but the road games the original that came out uh, was it was not really a horror movie of Jamie Lee Curtis but it was sort of like her franchise it was kind of like her movie to get out of that it was it was an action movie less than a horror movie if you really want to know the truth the roadway uh, dueling kind of thing Stacy Keach and Jamie Lee Curtis racing through Australia to to try to trap a serial serial killer that was that that kills women on the highway. So anyway, but this is um that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> there's there's no roadway anything. I mean this it kind of opens with the the best thing about this movie was like maybe the uh the prologue which featured uh D Wallace who who is a franchise a favorite and a horror sc uh, screen queen in her own right. Uh, if you uh, Google D Wallace or D Wallace Stone, she used to be uh, D Wallace Stone at one point when she was married. Now she's D Wallace again. But uh, yeah, yeah, we'll know her from. She was the anchor woman who turned into the werewolf uh, in uh, The Howling. You know, uh, I believe she was in uh, The Hills Have Eyes, the original The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, if you really want to see D. Wallace at her best, not even so much a horror movie, but she was just off her rocker in a movie called The Frighteners with, um, uh, oh my God, what is his name? Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox was the star of that one. And D. Wallace uh, had a, had a co-starring uh, role, not, not as a romantic lead either, I should say. Uh, <laughs> And 
then of course Jeffrey Combs was in that one as well. So I love, I know my horror. That's what I'm saying. I'm qualifying to you. I know my horror. And if I give this kind of like, you know what? Maybe if you just uh, you want a you want a fun flick to go see, it'd be fun to go see standard showing. Uh, don't waste your money thinking you're going to see high quality. Uh, know that you're going to get some groans out of it. You're going to see some things like this. You're going to be able to get some laughs and be like, oh, my God. Uh, and then um, what else? Um, yeah, just just know that it's going to be fun. It's not going to be great. It's not going to be rewarding. Uh, you get to laugh with your friends. Uh, and there's if someone's not familiar with horror, uh, it would be fun. This would be okay to watch. Maybe I want to say with uh, uh, some some teens, you know, that that have already seen. Like I wouldn't be I wouldn't be opposed to taking someone who is. I'm, I'm not the ratings board, by the way, and I'm not uh, telling you how to raise kids or anything like that. But someone 14, 15 on up, if they're not super sensitive or something, I wouldn't be. There's nothing in here that that I'd be like, oh my god, this is going to traumatize them. There's Nothing, nothing yet, you know. But I, and it's almost to the climax. I haven't seen the climax of this film. I got to this point, and it's like, you know what? I've got to stop this because that's just. I've got to make a make a video while it's still fresh in my mind. How how ridiculous this lady just sitting down and deciding to freak out is. I mean, it's if you're gonna do a backward crawl it's because you have already fallen or tripped over something there's nothing in this house they're not on the they're not in the interstate by the way they were lured to this house to be bait for this creeper and there's no catalyst as to why this creeper is reborn i guess it's 23 years later and he gets to hunt for 23 days but i don't know i do not know anyway about 12 minutes uh, into the interview or into the review of this movie. I'm not interviewing, interview, interviewing myself. Okay, so yeah, and then that's it. So check out the movie, um, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. My rating is S for standard uh, admission, no frills. Don't go for the for anything, uh, you know, because it, it it's not you. You don't need to see it in 3D. You don't need to see it in IMAX or any of that kind of stuff. Actually, <laughs> I'm I'm watching it uh, on a on a high def uh, uh, torrent, and that's basically just because I, I I did not find it where I could purchase it. But I would I would not pay the if you see this in the Walmart for like twenty bucks or twenty five bucks or whatever. Do not spend that money on it. Wait for it to hit the discount bin. Wait for it to show up on your streaming s service that you already pay for or something. As a matter of fact, yeah, I don't know. It's it's. I would have paid to to see it, uh, in and for the standard viewing, but I would have regretted spending the money. And that's my final rating. You guys have a great night. Come see us in Shreveport. Bye.